This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. Time for another downshift. And as you can see, you can just pass people like they're standing still. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today's an exciting video. Uh, today we are going to uh, do a review of the uh, can shift paddle shifter kit. Uh, that's available for Crown Victorias. Uh, it also worked with my Lincoln Town car, so let's get into it. So you're probably wondering, what is Can Shift? Uh, Can Shift is a revolutionary paddle system uh, for paddle shifting uh, in uh, all Ford vehicles that have a Can Bus system. Can Bus is um, just a particular system that allows different systems in the car to communicate with each other. So what this does is it actually gives you control over the shifting of your automatic transmission. All right, so you're probably wondering what's in the kit, and I did cover that in another video with the unboxing video, uh, but to just give you a quick rundown, so it's going to come with the actual paddles, uh, also, it's going to come with the actual paddle switches, which are wireless, and also it comes with the, uh, the display or the brain for the unit, which plugs into your onboard diagnostic uh, port of your car. So one thing that I wanted to talk about with this particular kit are some of the pros and cons. Now, I really don't have much negative things to say. It's more constructive criticism, and some of it is opinion-based. Uh, and some people may not agree with me about some of this, but honestly, I just don't, I don't care. Uh, it's my opinion. <laughs> but uh, anyways, we'll start off with uh, some of the pros of this kit. So the first pro that I'm gonna give about this uh, is just the cool factor of paddles. They're cool. They're on exotic cars. They're on performance cars. And actually now they're coming on like SUVs and things like that, like the Ford Explorer and all sorts of cars. So this is actually becoming a more common feature in cars today. So it's really cool to be able to update your Panther car with something like this. So here's another pro to having uh, the can shift system is obviously you can shift gears at any time you want. So that's going to increase your performance if you wanna stay in a gear longer, or even if you wanna downshift to pass people on the highway, that actually makes that possible now in your Panther platform vehicle. And uh, here's another pro. Um, so the display unit actually has a USB port of some sort on the top, which tells me uh, in the future you'll probably be able to update firmware on this to just change up settings and things like that or just to update the device. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, or somebody else may end up doing some sort of hack with it uh, to make it uh, work outside of the programmed parameters from the uh, the factory that'll probably void your warranty though uh, but that's some cool factor and that seems to be a plus to have that and uh, one other huge plus uh, is this actually makes the panther platform extra exciting and uh, what i mean by that is the paddles enhances the driving experience uh, it it's a more immersive driving experience, being able to shift the gears. And, uh, you know, that, that's why exotic cars are like that. They're meant to be very interactive with the driver, fun to drive. And that's what this device truly does. All right. So now we're going to get into the cons of this particular system. Some things may seem a little bit nitpicky, uh, but it's truly constructive criticism uh, for the manufacturer, I think, to refine this device and uh, just some improvements that I think they could make 
uh, just based on my experience with uh, you know the e-gear Lamborghini and you know my my wife's Ford Explorer Sport so that has pedal shifters as well uh, and some of this may seem nitpicky or opinionated yes I do have my opinions on things and uh, you know some of them are strong opinions but uh, anyways let's get into some of the cons so one thing that I do find to be a con is uh, this box is pretty big and the challenge that this creates is a place to mount it now I've been mounting that into my uh, cell phone holder uh, down there but you know it doesn't leave too many options because like if you put this like let's say on your near your instrument cluster or something like that it's going to block out you know either a dash light or your, your speedometer your fuel gauge you name it so um, in later revisions, I would love to see this like almost like the size of like the ALP control module, you know, something real slick, real small, you know, where it's not this, uh, you know, giant um, block. Um, but again, this is the first version of it, and I'm sure they will make improvements to this over time. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention, there's no feature for like auto dimming and it would be really awesome if it auto dimmed when you put your headlights on. That way you don't have to sit there and adjust with the paddles uh, while you're in park. You can control the dimming of it, uh, but it would be cool if it did it on its own. Uh, the other thing too, um, I personally feel that the display is just very big. It's very bright even at its dimmest setting. Um, this should have some sort of like tinted plastic over these, um, over these display numbers of, of some sort. I think that would just make it a little bit slicker. All right. So this statement, um, is more opinion based. Um, I personally do not like steering wheels where the paddles attach to the steering wheel. And the reason behind that is because when you are turning the wheel, obviously your paddles are going to be in different positions. And there are scenarios where you may shift going into a turn. Uh, perfect, perfect example of that would be like in a, like a clover leaf on the highway or something like that. You might want to downshift or you might want to upshift. Doesn't matter. You know, and a lot of people in a previous video loved arguing with me about the Ford Explorer Sport where I mentioned that I do not like the wheel paddles and the reason is because of that it, they just change position now that seems nitpicky but if we go over to my Lamborghini so let's go over here and just take a quick look one thing that you're going to notice about the Lamborghini is that the paddles are attached to the column not the wheel um, and that is nice because when you are driving a performance vehicle, you don't have to look down and see where your paddles are. You automatically, by muscle memory, know where your paddles are. Um, again, this is a nitpicky thing. Uh, maybe they could make different switches that mount on the top of the, um, of the Ford column and you would be able to have paddles actually you know where where you always know they are but that's no fault of the manufacturer of uh can shift and uh you know that's just a nitpicky statement and uh here's another con actually it's how close the downshift paddle is to the directional and uh wiper control uh on my town car and i'm pr pretty sure it's going to be the same issue on the uh the crown vic and in the mercury marauder and the grand marquee uh but you can barely like I, I got big banana hands but you know it's pretty tight for your finger now this is the low beam position that's the high beam position there's plenty of room that way uh, but in the uh the low beam position it just doesn't give you a lot of room in between there uh, but you know, you can still get at the, um, the paddle. And, uh, one comment that I'm seeing a lot online about this is shift lag. And that is no fault of can shift at all. 
Um, that is because the transmissions in these cars were meant for old people, so they're very slow and gentle shifting. Now, you know, that's one of those things that could be resolved with a transmission J mod that way you get firmer shifts. So that's going to make this a lot more fun. Uh, quick note also, I do have um, the sprint booster installed in here, which basically makes up for throttle the throttle body lag as far as it opening and closing. Um, and these are awesome and it works with that as well. Uh, but my next step is I want to do a J mod uh, to make my shifts firmer and more noticeable. And I think that is the perfect combination for this to be awesome. All right. So now we're at the point where I'm going to show you guys how this works. And then after I show you some of the features of how you set up some things and things like that, we're going to hit the road. I'm going to fire up the GoPro and give you a first person perspective of driving with the can shift system. And you're going to see it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So here we go. Um, started up the car. The display is going to show you what gear the car is in. So it shows P for park. Um, now notice it's only lit on the right side uh, that means that this system is not on at the moment uh, but what i wanted to show you guys real quick was how to adjust the brightness of the display so if we want to make the display brighter i'm just going to take the upshift paddle and hold it down and that's getting brighter and you'll see the numbers going up to seven and then it's back in P and it's hard to show, but it's way brighter. So actually I prefer it turned all the way down. So I am going to hit the left paddle and that's gonna go down to zero and then it's gonna go back to P. So that is how you change the brightness of this particular unit. So this unit will come paired from the, um, from can shift uh, but one quick way to check it is on the back of your control box there's going to be this little hole here. So if you hit one of the switches, you can see it's lighting up on the back. So that means we have wireless connection at this point. If it uh, is not connected for some reason, there is a little button on the back of this, and I believe you hit it eight times. And then you'll see a series of flashes from here, meaning that the paddles are paired. And then at that point, you can just test it by hitting the, uh, hitting the paddle, and uh, you'll be able to see it just light up with one hit of the paddle. All right, guys, so we're in the car. Got the GoPro here. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys how this whole system operates, and we're going to hit the road. So first thing, just start your car like normal. And uh, once you start the car like normal, um, what we're going to do is just put it in drive. Active. And you'll see down here that we're in first gear at the moment. So the can shift system is not on. So if you wish to activate it at this point, just hit both the pa uh, paddles. And now you're going to see down here one and one so that tells us that first gear first gear um, that the system is activated and ready to be used so now we can just go drive the shut car it down by hitting both paddles again there we go and it's going to do this little dance on the the screen and then it's back to automatic mode so let's uh let's head out let's hit the road so we're driving along in normal mode, cars shifting normally as expected. And uh, once I get over 40 miles per hour, that's the shift point into uh, fourth gear. So this is just normal town car operation or Crown Vic operation, whatever you want to call it. All right, so let's activate the can shift system. So we're in first gear and let's start moving. So the advantage of this is I can stay in first gear longer and I can shift. 
so as you can see you're definitely going to get a better launch from the car being able to control the actual shift points of the vehicle uh, which is nice now this system is programmed so it has a safety factor to it so it's not going to let you shift at an appropriate moment uh, but as you can see like right now I'm at 40 I'm gonna try down shifting so this second gear and shift back to third so as you can see you know there are advantages to that all right so we're coming up to a stop sign uh, we're in third gear so this system will automatically downshift as we are coming to a stop you can also manually bring it down um, so we're in third gear and we'll hear it click in the first there we go we're in first gear again um, and as we accelerate time to shift and, and um, this is pretty cool uh, with the sprint booster that I have here um, which actually controls the uh, on the fly-by wire throttle bodies it actually makes it react quicker uh, but I think the trifecta for this entire setup would be for me to get a J mod on the transmission that way you have real noticeable shifts uh, the other thing too a lot of people and I mentioned it earlier in this video they complain about the um, the shift reaction time if you have a tuner like an SCT tuner, a handheld tuner, uh, you should be able to firm that up or make it shift a little quicker. Uh, so that's definitely something I'm going to be looking into since I do have uh, an SCT custom tune on this car. So we'll, uh, we'll play around with this a little bit more. All right, so right now I'm slowing down. I'm manually downshifting. We're in second. Now we're in first. Real simple, easy to use. All right, so we are getting on the highway. Now this is the real exciting thing that I actually wanted to show you guys. So right now I am in fourth gear. Um, and as you can see, I'm just kind of putting along. Anyways, let's just get over here. And let's downshift into third. And here we go. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Just pass them like nobody's business. Shift back into fourth. Time for another downshift. As you can see, you can just pass people like they're standing still. It's, uh, it's pretty wild. <laughs> so overall, I'm really impressed with this and I'm really, really happy with my purchase. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, you definitely need to take into account uh, some of the pros and some of the cons and then weigh them and decide if this is the mod for you like I said it definitely um, Is extra awesome with the sprint booster. I can't wait to get a J mod done on my transmission uh, Because I think that'll end up making this so much better and making those shifts just feel amazing in the car um, but overall I'm happy with it and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this and uh, getting to see this in operation. All right, guys, that can shift system is absolutely awesome. Uh, I definitely give it four out of five stars. There are some things that do need improvement with it, uh, but 
I think it has a lot of potential and it absolutely is probably one of the most exciting uh, things available right now for the Panther platform. So I definitely recommend you get one, try it out, leave your comments down below. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a like. And uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.